Hey everybody, this is Russ from Metro Game Core. Now it's no secret I am a huge fan of the Mio Mini. I've done a million videos about this thing at this point. And I still have a couple more in the works and we're gonna knock one of those out today. This one, we're just gonna take a look at some various accessories that I've picked up over the past month or so and I wanna show them off here in this video. But I also have a whole Mio Mini playlist which I'll leave linked in the video description if you wanna check out some of those other videos including setup guides and things like that. So let's go ahead and get right down to business. This is the first package here. It's from keepretro.com. They sell Mio Minis, but they've also started selling accessories as well. And so they sent a couple of these new ones over for me to test out. We'll start with some 3D printed grips as you can see here. Now this is kind of interesting. The material itself kind of has this speckled look to it. And as you can see, the 3D print job here was not quite like perfectly done, but that's kind of how 3D printing goes. It always has like a homemade quality to it. And it looks like they've thoroughly lined the inside here with some padded foam tape to make sure that you aren't going to mess up your device. And whoo oh boy, this is a tight fit, but I think part of that has to do with the fact that I have a sticker on the front and back of the device. Now taking a quick look here, all of the ports are accessible here at the bottom. And so let's power this up and see how it feels in the hands. And yeah, already while gripping this, this feels a lot better than normal. Now I'm always kind of torn about using a 3D printed case on a small mini device like this because it takes away from the mininess of the Mio Mini. But kind of the way I see it is that this is like my at home accessory. If I want to play with more comfort then I would use a 3D printed one like this. And then when I take it on the go I'm obviously going to remove the grip and just slip it into my pocket. And so it's kind of like having two devices in one. And I got to say you know just the gameplay here compared to what it's like without the grip makes me feel a little bit like a superhero. Like it does feel really nice and I do do feel like I'm in more of control. Now that being said, the grip itself is not a very elegant solution. As you can see here, it just kind of looks a little bit amateurish and kind of the way they cut it out and put in that tape. Now I'm not saying it's like ugly or anything else like that, but it just doesn't look like something made from like a really big company and that's fine. When dealing with 3D printed accessories, it just kind of comes with the territory. But yeah, overall, I do think it is functional. It's nice and smooth feeling. And when I handed this to my wife, she loved it. She said this is way better than without it. And as far as pricing, it's a little bit steep. It's $30, but it does come with free shipping and it ships worldwide. If you were to try to get a similar grip from Etsy, you may end up paying shipping that will push it above that $30 mark. Now, like I mentioned, this is a really tight squeeze. And so what I wanted to do here is take out the one that has stickers on it and then put in one that doesn't and see if there's any difference here. And yeah, sure enough, sliding in the one without a sticker is quite a bit smoother. Now, I would say they're both nice and snug. Like I don't feel like the blue one's gonna pop out at all, but it is a little bit easier to get in and out if you do not have a sticker on it. I also like the contrast of the blue to the white coloring here as well. It just looks a little bit cooler. And so overall, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this script. Let's move on to the next accessory. Now this one, as you can see, is a 3D printed stand and it has that same kind of texture and material quality as the other. And I'm a big fan of having stands for my retro handhelds, but this is a nice little feature here that it also will power it up as you plug it in. So not only is this a stand, but it's kind of like an impromptu charging dock as well. Now they've lined all the connection pieces with some rubber foam as well, so I don't think you're gonna damage it as you pop it in and out, which is kind of cool. And mine came with a USB-C cable. I'm not sure if it will when you order one. I'm just gonna use my regular USB-C cable that I use anyway. So I'm just gonna connect it here in the back and then let's pop in my Mew Mini. And sure enough, it pops right in. It actually connects really easily. And bam, look at that, it immediately starts charging. It'll show you the boot logo and then it'll show you a charging logo afterwards. The same thing happens when you just plug it directly in. But here's the funny thing, when I kind of moved it over to its side, it fell right out and I kind of freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, I broke this thing. But it turns out it has one of those magnetic USB-C connector things. I didn't even realize it. And so the idea here is that you keep the connector plugged into the Mew Mini and then you just pop it right into the dock using that magnetic connector. And I gotta say that little feature right here moved it from like a six out of 10 in my book to like a nine or a 10 out of 10. I'm really happy with how this kind of turned out. Now, of course that has one big caveat is whether or not you're willing to have something sticking out of the bottom of your device like that. But I gotta say, I've had this for about a week now and I've been using this as my primary docking station and it's just such a nice relief to be able to just pop it in at the end of the night and charge it right up for the next day. And that magnetic connection makes me feel like I'm not gonna put any wear and tear on that USB port. Now in terms of the dock design, I wish it was a little bit wider. I think it would look nicer, but I think it does have some nice touches. You know, I like the padding everywhere to make sure you never damage your device. And yeah, it turns out that I really love this magnetic connection thing as well. And so theoretically, you could just take that little magnetic connector and then swap it between your various Mio Minis and then you can charge them this way as well. 
Of course, you could just always do it the old-fashioned way and just plug in your Mew Mini, but it is kind of nice to have this docking solution too. It feels a little bit more elegant. Now, fair warning, you can't really put it in a case if you're going to use that magnetic attachment. But the 3D printed grip does slide in and out when you do have the attachment in. Of course, you're going to have to take it out of the grip in order to plug it in, but that is going to be an option too. So it's really going to come down to your use case. Are you the kind of person that just wants to have it kind of unadorned around the house and you want to pop it in at the end of the night? Or would you rather use a 3D printed grip or keep it in its case? And yeah, like I mentioned, I wish it was a little bit wider. I think it would look a little bit better. And there's kind of some wasted space at the front here. I wish they had put a logo here too. Either way, big fan of the dock. Let's move on to the next accessory. Now, this is a special hard case for the Miu Mini made by Yume Retro over on Etsy. And they ship out of the United States. It probably took maybe four or five days to get to me here in Hawaii. Now, I've already got a million cases for my various Miu Minis, but I'm always up to trying a new one. And this one's really interesting. It is a 3D printed case, but feels really high quality. Now, opening it up, I forgot that I had also ordered some speaker replacements for the Miu Mini. We're going to save that for a different video. But this is kind of cool. You know, Yume has their own sticker here. It looks pretty cool. So thanks for the sticker. And yeah, like I mentioned, I got a couple speakers here that I'm going to do an upgrade to my Miu Minis, but I'll save that for a different video. And so spoiler alert, be on the lookout for that in the coming weeks. Anyway, back to the case here. This is 3D printed here, but has a really nice professional feel to it. The hinges are connected by metal rods, and honestly, the smoothness of this really kind of set me back. I wasn't expecting this to be of that high quality. As you can see, the Mio Mini fits nice and snugly inside, and it snaps shut in a very satisfying way. And man, this looks great. It doesn't add that much bulk to the Mio Mini altogether, but it provides a ton of protection. Every single side is totally covered. And this 3D printing is so accurate, I bet you could put your own stickers on this thing on the outside and it would still line up perfectly. But to be honest, I kind of like it when it's plain and unadorned as well. There are a few different colors available. I think it's like gray and white and black and this navy blue as well. Now, just to check, I wanted to make sure that a Mio Mini that had stickers on it would also fit nicely. And sure, it fits just great. One thing I also observed is it's kind of unique that the hinge opens up on the left. That's kind of like opposite of what we typically would see in a case, but I kind of like it like that. Either way, yeah, I'm a big fan of this case here. It looks beautiful and it is super sturdy and protective. A couple weeks ago, I did a review of this leather case right here, and this one's personalized and has just a lot of cool qualities to it. And it will definitely protect the Mio Mini, but not in the same way that a hard shell case would. I feel like this hard shell case is something that you could bring like on a deployment or to the skate park or something else like that. Like it's just really protective. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. I'll leave a link to the Etsy store as well. I think it might be sold out right now, but I think they're going to be getting new stock soon. And finally, one other thing I want to show are a couple cases that I also got from somebody on Etsy. Now these are also 3D printed and hard shell, but they serve a different purpose than the one we just looked at. These ones in particular are lightweight and they're meant to only protect the screen here on the front. So essentially the idea here is that you would slip this on before you put it in your pocket just to make sure the screen doesn't get scratched up or cracked while you're walking around. And so yeah, I think in that regard it does a great job. The screen is protected as you can see and it also prevents the buttons from sticking out so you're not going to accidentally press any of the buttons while it's jostling around within your pocket. Now in terms of the 3D print job itself, I'd say the quality on this is a little bit lower than the others. But this one is also super cheap. You know, the hard shell protecting case, I forgot to say, is $25, but this one is only $12. And it makes sense because it requires a lot less materials than the other. Now in terms of getting this one on and off, I will say that it is really snug and I was a little bit worried about scratching the sides of my device as I was pulling it off and on. And it's the standard design, as you can see, it's going to show the little Miu logo. It looks nice and cute. But the owner of the shop, he reached out to me and said, hey, I want to make a special one for you too, and who am I to turn that down? So I have this special Retro Game Core one as well, which I think looks really cool. In particular, I think it fits really well with my black NES style Miu Mini. And like with the other one, this does have some imperfections, you know, a couple dings here and there, but again, $12, can't complain. The only thing that really worries me about it is potentially scratching my case as I slip it on and off. But I've heard from others on Reddit and things like that, that it actually gets easier over time. So this may just be something that as it's brand new is a worry and then afterwards it's not. And the nice thing about this screen protector in particular is it provides even less bulk than that hard shell one that we just looked at. Now, of course, this device itself is very pocketable. So regardless of what case you use, it's going to fit in your pocket, no problem. But if I had to be honest, because I have both of these and I had to choose which one I was actually going to put in my pocket and take with me, I would probably end up taking that hard shell case just because it covers the entirety of the device. 
Okay, that's really about it for this video. I just wanted to highlight one more time just how much I've really been enjoying this charging dock. I've been using it for about a week now, and I can't even imagine a life without it now that I have it. And to be honest, that little magnetic connector here at the bottom, I thought it was going to bother me, but it ended up not at all. And so it's just kind of been permanently attached to my Mio Mini as I take it around the house and then charge it at the end of the day. And in terms of pricing, this one is also $30 and comes with free shipping as well. But anyway, that's about it for this video. These kind of videos are super fun for me. I just kind of like playing around with different solutions for the devices I love so much. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, be on the lookout for my speaker upgrade video, which I'll do in a couple weeks as well. I'll leave links to all of these stores in the video description below. And thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.